This video is brought to you by FX Factory, so make sure to go check them out in the link down below. Hey, what's up guys, Miles Somerville here, and I recently helped my friend Eric complete his $1,000 editing build, the Mark II. So I thought we'd do some comparison tests when it comes to editing for my current machine, the Mac Mini, in his PC. So we're going to be comparing 1080p video files, uh, 4K video files, and even 6K R3D files. So without further ado, let's get started. When it comes to the specs of Eric's PC, he has an Intel Core i5-6600K Skylake CPU clocked at 3.5GHz. He has 16GB of DDR4 RAM clocked at 2400MHz from Corsair. He didn't upgrade his GPU so he has the same EVGA 750Ti and he also has a 250GB SSD from Samsung and that's the A50 Pro. So my Mac Mini has a 3GHz quad core Intel Core i7, 16GB of 1600MHz DDR3 RAM from Crucial and a 1TB SSD from Kingston. So the first video files we tested were around 5 minute 1080p video files and on Premiere Pro on Eric's PC it took around 5 minutes and 39 seconds and on my Mac it, on FCPX it took around 4 minutes and 56 seconds. Next we decided to see how quickly our 3D files export out of Red Cine X Pro which is Red's tool that you use to you know mess with our 3D files, change the ISO and the color temperatures and stuff like that. So we had 4.5k video and the export on his PC took around 7 minutes and 49 seconds and the export on my Mac took around 9 minutes and 46 seconds. So once we both threw those 4.5k video files into Premiere Pro and FTPX, the export on his PC took around 5 minutes and 30 seconds seconds and the export on my Mac took around 5 minutes and 46 seconds on FCPX. So for the final test we decided to throw some a 6k video into Red Cine X Pro and the export out of that on Eric's PC took around 3 minutes and 53 seconds and the export on my Mac took around 4 minutes and 10 seconds. So after we took that 6K video file and put that into Premiere Pro and FCPX, the export on Eric's PC took around 2 minutes and 43 seconds in Premiere Pro, and my Mac took around 37 seconds to export in FCPX. So with all these tests complete, I basically concluded that there's a pretty substantial difference in performance when doing different tasks on these machines. The Mark II can definitely do a lot more things better than the Mac Mini simply because it's running the latest and greatest desktop grade hardware. But the Mac Mini's OS X optimization and blazing fast performance on FCPX allow it to be the near match for the Mark II, specifically for editing video. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to see future content. I'll make sure to leave Eric's channel down in the description down below as well as FX Factory Pro. You can check them out. They make really awesome stuff. So that's basically about it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Later. This video was brought to you by FX Factory. FX Factory designs high quality plugins for Final Cut, Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. They have plugins for almost every aspect of post production you can think of transitions, color correction, 3D effects, and titles. So I'll make sure to leave a link down below in the description to their site. So I've been using FX Factory Pro for about a year now and it's pretty legit. So make sure to check them out in the description below and I'll talk to you guys later.